All right, I appreciate y'all for coming back, checking the video out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Hit the like button. If you like the video, it's your boy PBK9 is giving you that dog news the way I always do, fair and unbiased. I'm waiting on you to comment at the bottom. You know, I'm going to comment up there with you. It's your boy holding it down, PBK, dog news. Let's get into it. Shout out to um, Pelican in the building, everybody in the building, South Carolina rocking. What's up, uh, Pelican Bay? Hey, what's up? Sometimes some of the news that we put out may be hurting other people that the news is really about. You know, and I never really realized that until, you know, I felt like we went through it ourselves. You know, right now I want to I want to take this time, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all to say a prayer for my boy Big Rob. He lost his daughter, you know what I'm saying, over this past week. And, you know, I got a few things to say about that as far as you strong with me, bro. You know, I say a prayer for you, you know, every night since that happened. You strong with me because it would have broke me, bro. It would have broke me. Two, you know, I got a daughter that age myself, you know, so I, you know, I can't, nobody knows how that feel if you haven't been through it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows how that feel, but I know it would have broke me. And all I can tell you is hold your head, you know, everybody, everybody say prayers for them, you know. And three, like, this brother, when, 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 when folk would turn their back on me, when this and that, this brother always kept it real with me. He always kept it real with me. He said, Hurst, come through. Come through. You know I fuck with you. You know I fuck with you. Come through. So right now, man, let's just give this brother and a moment of silence, you know, and his family a moment of silence for their daughters. So to my boy Big Rob, hold your head, man. We all love y'all here. You and Miss Michelle, hold y'all head. PBK Nines. Jumping in that bulldog news, man. One thing I hate about a pit bull, the pit bull game period, is keeping a dog two or three years, getting attached to him, and then realizing that ain't the one, or realizing somewhere or another you made a mistake. Now you got to get rid of, but now you're all attached to him. So how? I've, how I beat that, no matter what bloodline you got, no matter what strain you running, you make sure you try to make that dog the best, best dog you can make possible. You know what I'm saying? And that's gonna come way before he even touch a, a, a meal or he even hit that rover. That's gonna come way before that. You know what I'm saying? Way before, way before. Like you gotta know in your heart when you get that puppy, that he, he gonna be what he gonna be, and he gonna be that. Not wondering, you know what I'm saying? If you know he gonna be that, that's, that means you gonna make him to that. You can't make no, you can't make no dog do what he can't do, perform the way he can't perform. But you can bring out things that you know. You can bring stuff out. 
just put it like that. You could bring a whole lot of stuff out of them by being a good owner and a good dog man. You know, man, when I give you that dog news, I can only be real with you, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to get, get you out here and talk for six or seven hours or none of that, you know what I'm saying? We're going to make it short and quick, you know what I'm saying? Short and quick, and we going to, because, you know, like, like, like they said, school, man. We can, you can go to school all day and don't remember nothing. But them little classes that you have that's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, them the classes you learn the most out of. That little 10, 15 minute span. After all that other stuff, man, you start forgetting, you start getting restless, you start, you know, I'm giving it to you short and sweet, man. And you know I be bull jobbing with you with a lot of them bloodlines, man. It's gonna be aces in every bloodline out there, from Kobe to Old Family Red to Chinaman to Eli to Bolio to Buck. Uh, uh, every line, man, it's gonna be aces. Every line is gonna be curves. You know, it is what it is when it comes to that. So certain things you gotta, you gotta just know that no matter if I'm talking trash about your line. That, that don't make you think no different about your line. You know what I'm saying? You got to make your line to what you can make your line to. So 20 years down the line, you could be telling the same story about your line. You know what I'm saying? Because if I wouldn't have made the moves I made back then, I didn't make them. For one, I was never a breeder. And that's why Sambo don't really have a whole lot of dogs out there from me. Because I wasn't a breeder. I was a performer. I never had luck when it came to breeding puppies. My puppies always died, the female wouldn't catch. Two or three weeks, the puppies don't live. You know what I'm saying? I even had puppies in the house, but I try to keep them in the house, they wouldn't live. I only had one, two litters of Sambo to live for me, you know? One of them I stayed in the house, you know, didn't go to the clubs, didn't go nothing. I stayed in the house with that yellow, with that yellow litter, and I had two puppies to live off of it when it got four weeks, and then one of the puppies just died out of the blue, and I ended up with one puppy off that, you know? His name was Crossbow, all right? And then I bred Sambo with a termite female, and out of that one, I only had two puppies to make it, you know? And they, they made it till they got an older age, and I ended up selling them, or whatever. Okay, now, working line, I'm gonna make you laugh real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? You remember when y'all first joked on me about Sambo with the Eli and the pedigree and all that? All right, check it out. No doubt, all the dogs is in everybody dog's pedigree, but when it comes to breeding, you know, this is how it is, basically. You know, you, you everybody know how it is. You got three quarters, four quarters. You know, half and half. Then once you start breeding so many times, even though that's in the background of the pedigree, that's pretty much washed out of the dog. You know, after so many breedings, if you breed in the right way. You know, that's pretty much washed out of the dog. So, a lot of, that's why, you know, everybody who got Jeep dog, say Jeep instead of this dog, instead of that dog. Because they're really more closer to the Jeep than they are to the other dogs or whatever. But, um, you know, and I still say, that's why I said make laugh. Sam boy ain't got no Eli in him. He ain't got no Eli in him. Straight red boy, Jocko. Little bit of Jocko, more red boy Jeep. More red boy Jeep. And his grandmama was an inbred Jeep dog, top and bottom. Top and bottom. And she, she had some kind of deformity to her. She wasn't nothing like a little pocket pit bull. You know, she was like a little pocket pit, but she wasn't built like them, but she was short like them. And she had like some funny ass kind of legs or whatever. But she threw off the best, the best dogs. See, this is why I say maybe if Sambo was in a, the right hands, you know, he would have been famous as maybe in the rest of them dogs. I was the right hands when it come to knowing what to do with them. But he wasn't in the right hands because I was green in the game. Sambo was a destroyer, a destroyer. When I tell you, every other week he destroying somebody, shit. Every other week, month after month, for the whole two years straight. All right, y'all got that dog of the year shit? Sambo was dog of the year two years in a row. You know what I'm saying? Two years in a row. Dog of the year. And anybody, ain't nobody who knows Sambo can argue against that. Two years in a row. But he was in the wrong hands because in the right hands, he would have made, you know, got to the right, got the right accolades, and he wouldn't have took all the damage he took with me out there hog hunting. And, and going in this woods, that woods, they would have took him out, did what they had to do, got the reputation off of him, and, you know, that would have been that. And see, 
I'm a firm believer that, you know, as far as uh, dogs uh, adapting to their owners and stuff like that, because I know, see, I sold Bo, I'm not sure, quite sure, he had been around about four, on that, about four years old when I sold him, okay? When I sold him, being that he shouldn't have been sold, he should have died on my yard, you know what I'm saying? Because he looked at me like, you know, like the leader of the pack. When I sold him, I know he wasn't the same dog for that, that, that other guy, you know what I'm saying, that he was for me. Because he said somebody, a dog got loose that killed him on the chain, you know what I'm saying? Bo, only way a dog would kill Bo on the chain with me, if Bo would have got tangled up, neck tangled up, legs tangled up, and all kind of stuff like that. But Bo was too smart for all that, you know what I'm saying? So I really think he was heartbroken, you know, from leaving and just want the same dog no more. And when it comes to certain things, certain features, everybody likes their dog with the features they like their dog with, you know. Me, myself, personally, I'm a game man, you know. I like the gamers, the gamers they gonna come, you know what I'm saying? I can, I can work with the mouth. Some people these days, they just want mouth. They get mouth, they get all the mouth they want. But they ain't got no no, no stay there. You know what I'm saying? I, I need to stay there and I'll worry about the mouth later. The mouth will come high if I gotta get it. Cause most dogs, you know, you might have one with some weak mouth or I, I can deal with the mouth. I need some stay there. Cause that's what it's all about for me. Stay there, stay there, stay there. That mouth, I done seen that mouth get up and go. That mouth will get up and go on you. Same way it is in the streets. That mouth will get up and go on you. You know what I'm saying? You, when you go out there hunting, you need that stay there. At least me. I need to stay there. I don't know about the next person. Everybody got their own way they got to go about it. I ain't going to lie, man. I'm going to tell you the honest truth. You know, it's, this happened in the early 2000s, in the, in the mid 2000s, whatever. I was, it was kind of funny seeing black red boy dogs. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to seeing only the red, red boy dogs. And then later on down the line, people start having black, red boy dogs, pure red boy and the dog black. You know what I'm saying? Times go, times change, different kind of breeding, people doing different breeders. So, you know, that's why I give you different standpoints of just the things that I know. And then, when it comes to color, you can add color and stuff and you can do breeding and you can wash that out and still get the color from the old breeders. But this is the thing, some people call pure, say I'm gonna talk about a uh, yellow dog, all right? Some people say pure yellow dogs are dogs that have nothing from the time you did the breeders to now, but yellow dogs in them. That's what some people say pure yellow dogs is, okay? Then some people say pure yellow dogs is any dog that has, like, okay, say if you bred your pure yellow dog with a Chinaman dog or a Bolio dog, and then you took that puppy and bred it back to the yellow, took that puppy and bred it back to the yellow, took that puppy again, bred it back to the yellow. It's pure yellow now, but it has an out in it. It has no more bolio in it, but, you know, some people say that's not pure. Some people say that is pure. Everybody has their own, you know, opinion about it. Some people say once you breed it two or three times to the same thing again, that it's going, it's going to be washed out, you know? Some people saying, if it's not going all the way directly back to the yellow dog, then that means something else was put in it throughout the years, so it's not pure. And I'm going to say again, you cannot buy one dog from a man, start your yard up, and then think you can judge that man whole yard. I can't go buy a dog from Garner off of uh, Dynamite or or Bobby Peru or none of them and start my yard off that, that one dog that I bought from him and then judge his whole yard. You cannot do it. You know what I'm saying? I can't take that dog from him and, 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 and say that one dog and say I created a better line than what he doing. It's impossible. You know what I'm saying? That's just plain out hating. You can't do it. You got to stay in your lane sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be that dog man but don't want to put that work in like I said before, we go to price gouging, so you can't put the work in. Your price gouging, ain't no way you could be you know, on a level that a real dog man was on because you holding yourself back, basically. And that's one reason 
That sport will never be legalized. You have UFC, people breaking their arms, trying to gouge out their eyes, all the kind of stuff like that. But then you have that sport that'll never be legal because it can't be, you, you have the, the poorest man in the world. All thing he can do is feed his dog, his one little dog. But that one little dog is better than every dog in the country. You can't regulate uh, the pit bull. That's why it will never be legal like that. You can't regulate it. They, well, well, just the rich people got it. Or just these people got the best ones. No, the, the best one might be that man who can barely afford to feed him, but he only got one dog, and he only got one, but he might have the best one in the country. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why you got to be careful when you run into these big-time kennels, big-time kennels, and ask yourself, is they really kicking up dust now? So if you want to send me one of them good uh, red boy dogs or jeep dogs or red boy jocko dogs, send me a puppy, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you how the bay do it over here. You know, I'm going to show you how the bay do it over here. You know, I ain't paying for no dogs. I'm going to let you know that now. I ain't paying for nothing. Because simple fact, once I pay, once I get that dog in my possession, and he, he get with the bait, Ben is gonna pick up. Ben is gonna pick up for you. So that's gonna be, it's gonna, you're gonna make it on the back end. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna make it on the back end. Ben is gonna pick up. I can promise you that. No matter what, we all know it's certain people around this world, around this country, certain black brothers, certain white brothers, certain Mexican brothers. Certain brothers and sisters that you can get your dog to. <laughs> and once you get your dog to that person, it's on. You know what I'm saying? Certain people you can get your dog to. Well, now, we can sell dogs to anybody and everybody like I said in the last video. But it's certain people you can get your dog to. That's why you got to be careful about the money thing. Everybody need money. We all know that. You know what I'm saying? But you got to look at it. If you try to get it now, on the back end. You know what I'm saying? Because... Giving it to the wrong person. You can give it to you now, but you're getting nothing on the back end. Back end is like royalties. You know what I'm saying? Look at it like royalty payments. They just keep coming in, coming in, coming in. You know what I'm saying? A good rep is better than a a, a, a good pocket at, and sometimes. You know, if you got to pay bills and stuff, of course. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what you got to do. But I ain't going to keep you all too long. Like I always tell you, thank you all for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Let them... Let them tally up. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Comment at the bottom. It's your boy, PBK9. Give you that dog news the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Fair and unbiased. You know what I'm saying? Before I get up out here, y'all don't forget to say a prayer for my, my man, Big Rob, and his family. You know, PBK9s. We out. These pussy niggas tryna rip my block rip my Keep block. playing with a nigga, I'ma let off shot let off Don't shots. trust them folks, them folks call the cops They gon' call the cops niggas in your circle, really the motherfuckin' ops. ops Never been a bitch, nah, never been that, never been that. Try them boys wrong, get your shit pushed back shit push My back. chain for your brain, bitch, how you like that? You like Run that? down on a nigga, rat a tat 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 Your favorite rapper whack, tell him I said that said Sneak that. dissing on a nigga, hold up, run that back run that Never back. sneak this a nigga, I speak on I fact speak on Take a man. bullet to the face, nigga, speak on that on Real that. solid ass nigga, I'm the son of E She said she miss my dreads, but now my shit pee now my shit pee Never it. been a sucker, so you ain't been the tease me Real man. hot boy like Juvie and Weezy But my son a chain and that bitch say Dre I'm a nigga with ambition, that's in WA Speaking on me, watch what you say Get that shit to call a play to find out where you stay That nigga been gay, since way back in the day You ain't tryna act real, dog, you gets no play no play. These niggas play both snake in a rat Run down on a nigga rat a tat tat tat, 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 tat. These pussy niggas tryna rap my block rap my Keep block. playing with a nigga, I'ma let off shots, let off shots. Don't trust them folks, them folks call the cops call the Them cops. niggas in your circle, really the motherfucking, the motherfucking ops. ops Never been a bitch, nah, never been that, never been that. Try them boys wrong, get your shit pushed back shit push My back. chain for your brain, bitch, how you like that? How you Run that? down on a nigga rat a tat tat tat, tat, tat.